Good day my little robins, it's me Beth and over a week has passed which means you get another video from well me and if you haven't already read the title I'm going to be doing a different kind of video today. That's right, I'm going to be ranking every Hollywood Undead album from worst to best. Now I'm going to preface this video by saying I love Hollywood Undead, I've got merch, I've seen them live, I saw them live in January this year. I'm a really big fan of the band, I have been you know since Swan Songs but before you come at me in the comments, you know, for some of the opinions I have, you know, this video are just my best to worst Hollywood Undead albums. It doesn't reflect, you know, what any of you think out there. This is just my personal order. So, yeah, do not come at me in the comments because I prefaced this by telling you to go screw yourselves. Anyway, before I begin ranking all the albums, if you want to support me and the channel, you can by clicking like to show me some love. You can also hit that subscribe button because I upload twice a week on a Monday and a Friday. And also, what the hell's stopping you if you want more content like this. Anyway, let's just dive right into this ranking Hollywood Undead albums video. It's a really long title, forgive me. Ironically, starting off with the worst album Hollywood Undead have released to date, like I said, ironically, coming in at number 5 is their latest album called Five. Now, don't get me wrong, these songs are great live. When I saw them in January, they performed, I think, about four or five songs off the Five album. And I was a little sceptical when I heard the songs first time around and I watched some of the music videos. But when they perform the songs live, it just added a whole new element. And so I will admit, I did say some harsh things in some like early reaction videos I did to Five, but I take them back because they have a whole new element live. But the reason they are probably my worst album is because I feel like Hollywood and Dead, you know, have not yet pushed themselves. The album didn't excite me like some of like their previous albums. Five albums is a lot for a band to release, you know, if you make it to five albums as a band, you know, you know, I think you can push the boundaries. Hollywood and Dead for me, at least on album six, they need to, you know, push the boundaries and maybe experiment more. You've got a loyal fan base who will pretty much follow you whatever you release. If I had to pick, you know, one of my favourite songs off the album, it would be Riot. And that's purely because when I saw them live, I may or may not have got a few bruises from, you know, jumping up and down and pushing into people. My least favourite song, which I stick by because I did not like the music video, and that is Renegade. If you want to check out, you know, my opinions on some of the five songs, you can just type Hollywood and Dead into the search box on my channel and go down the rabbit hole. Coming in at number four is Day of the Dead. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I struggled, you know, with whether or not I was gonna place this as my fourth or my third choice. And then I listened to the album again and I was like, you know what, it is a great party album. It never fails, you know, to lift up my mood if I'm having a bad day. But the reason it did get number four and not number three is because the more you listen to it, the more the song sounds so repetitive. It's like they were like, right, we have this one style song Let's, you know, just change up, you know, a few things and just continue to regurgitate that out on the rest of the album. Don't get me wrong, it's a fun album. Just, it, it doesn't deserve, you know, three, two or one on this list. If I had to pick my favourite song, yes, I have it on my phone because I am organised. My favourite song is Take Me Home. It's, it's just a really nice, like, song and I have nothing to say other than it is beautiful. And my least favourite song is How We Roll. It, it, I, don't, I just don't know, every time it comes on, I, you know, hit play. No, I don't hit play. I go to the next song. Coming in at number three is the OG album, which is Swan Songs. And now I know what some of you are thinking. Some of you are thinking, God, this is my fifth or fourth spot. But for me, I still remember the first time, you know, I heard this album in full. I was studying GCSE graphics in high school and one of my best friends, Jess, had it on her iPod and I remember being like, oh my god, this band is amazing. Also the reason it made it so high on the list is yes, some songs are overrated and cliche if you go back and listen to them, 
But if you actually pick some of the songs off the album and, you know, play them in 2018, they are still relatable, you know, to today's society. So it's an album for me that stands the test of time. If I had to pick, you know, my favorite song off the album, I would say it's This Love, This Hate. It's just catchy. I also know every song on this album word for word. My least favorite song is Bottle and a Gun. It just, you know, kind of, you know, took me out of the moment when I was listening to the album. Taking my number two spot is American Tragedy. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna be honest, I used to hate on this album when it first came out. I'm not saying it's a bad album, I just didn't like it. And then, you know, when I was making this video, I went back and I actually, you know, listened to the album in full. They performed a few songs from American Tragedy on the tour, and so I got to, you know, hear them live. And I realized that this is actually a great all-rounded album. There is a song for every mood, and I'm like, oh my god, I need to take back all the hate I've given, you know, this album. It was nothing, you know, to do with Danny. Danny's voice is golden and he is an angel on this album. I just, I don't know why, but you know, when it came out, I did not like this album and I was like, no, no, this is the worst Hollywood and Dead album, but it somehow made it to my number two spot. If I had to pick my favorite song off the album, it is Bullet, because who doesn't love a good, song, you know, about suicide and killing yourself, but making it sound really cheerful. And my least favorite song is My Town. Just some of the lyrics are a little bit too repetitive for me. Which leads us to the number one spot and the best Hollywood Undead album to date, I think they have released, which is Notes From The Underground. For me, this album feels like the most mature album Hollywood and Dead have released. Yes, you know, there's a few party songs, you know, thrown in there for good measure. But for me, as like a whole album, you know, and a theme, all the songs, you know, fit together perfectly. And I use this album, you know, a lot to get my friends into Hollywood and Dead. I use this album and then I probably, you know, throw them into American Tragedy, you know, after, you know, they've just like put their feet in the water, you know, they've tested the water. But for me, Notes from the Underground is a perfect album start to finish. I have nothing bad to say about this album, which will surprise a few people. Because I know in the comments, people are going to be like, this isn't my number one choice. How dare you pick this? This is my number one. This is my best album Hollywood Undead have released. If I had to pick my favourite song off the album, it would have to be Believe. There are quite a few, you know, slow sad emotional songs on the album but for me when you actually listen or you actually read the lyrics for Believe and then you hear it it's a bit of a tearjerker I'm not gonna lie my least favorite song on the album is Pigskin I know it's one of the upbeat party songs on the album I just can't I just can't get into it so yeah that just wraps up my ranking of the worst to best Hollywood and Dead albums Sound off in the comments below, you know, if you agreed with me, or if you, you know, don't agree with me. Hell, in the comments, I'd love to, you know, hear your guys' best, worst to best, best to worst. I want you guys to rank all the Hollywood and Dead albums in the comments below, you know, what you would pick. Because, you know, I want to start a conversation with you guys. While you're down there, you can also, you know, check out all the links to my social media, because why the hell not? You can also click like to show me some love and I will know, you know, if you guys want to see more of these videos in the future. You can click my face right here to subscribe to the channel because I upload twice a week on a Monday and a Friday. Yeah, you can check out my last two videos or playlist right here depending what mood I'm in when I'm editing this. Whew. Until next week, I am Beth. Keep listening to good music. Goodbye.